understand what happens in an inflammatory disease of the tonsil, which we call it as tonsillitis. So tonsillitis can be an acute disease or could be a chronic disease. So acute disease, we call it as acute tonsillitis. And if the disease is for a chronic duration, then we call it as a chronic tonsillitis. So acute tonsillitis is a condition where there is inflammation of the tonsil and the disease has been for less than four weeks duration. So if the duration of disease is for less than four weeks, then we call it as acute tonsillitis. There are four forms of acute tonsillitis in the pathophysiology of the disease. The first one we call it as superficial form, also called as catarrhal form. The second one is called as the follicular form. The third one is called as the membranous form and the fourth one is called as the parenchymatous form. So what is the difference in each one of these? Let us understand. So what happens in acute superficial tonsillitis? So let's take this as the tonsil. Now there is some source of infection that has entered through the mouth. So initially the inflammation will just be limited to the surface of the tonsil. So what would happen? There would be inflammation that is limited to the surface of the tonsil. So the tonsil is congested which means it is red. But since it is just the initial part of the disease, it is a early part of the disease where the inflammation or infection is just superficial. What do we call it as? Superficial tonsillitis. So here the infection is called as acute superficial type of tonsillitis because the inflammation is just limited to the superficial surface or the mucosa. So tonsil is red and congested but is it enlarged? It is not enlarged. Now eventually what will happen? Eventually the crypts are going to get infected and you will see that there is blockage of the crypts with pus, debris, bacteria and exudates. So here what is happening? The crypts are getting blocked. So when the crypts are getting blocked, what do we see on the surface? You will see there is whitish yellow dots on the surface of the tonsil. So you will see there will be whitish yellow dots on the surface of the tonsil. And what do we call this type as? We call this as acute follicular. So initially what was superficial where the infection was just superficial has now gone to the crypt of the tonsil and blocked the crypt of the tonsil. And as a result, what are we seeing? White to shallow dots on the surface of the tonsil. Now what will happen next? What would happen next is the infection would break the crypts and go into the substance of the tonsil. So the infection will break the crypt and it will go into the substance of the tonsil. So when the infection breaks the crypt and goes into the substance of the tonsil, what will happen? The tonsil will now become red and enlarged. So what is happening? The infection is present inside the tonsil and as a result, the tonsil is red and enlarged. This type of tonsillitis where there is redness and enlargement in the tonsil, we call this as parenchymal type of tonsillitis. So what do we call this as? Parenchymal because the infection is going into the parenchyma of the tonsil. That is why we call it as parenchymal tonsillitis. And at the last stage, what is happening? The tonsil is able to fight the infection and hence all that dead debris, the bacteria, the dead tonsillar tissue together will collapse to form a membrane over the tonsil. So what is this? called as this is called as membranous tonsillitis. Now this membranous tonsillitis what we see the membrane it's coming from the dead tissue of the tonsil it is coming from the dead bacteria so we call it as a true membrane because it is coming from the tonsil. But it is a membrane that is having vascularity or no vascularity. It is a dead tonsillar tissue. So if it is a dead tonsillar tissue, it is avascular. So do you think on peeling, will there be bleeding from the underlying surface? No. So on peeling, there is no bleeding from underlying surface. So there is no bleeding from the underlying surface.
This is called as membranous tonsillitis. So if we see what are the four forms in acute tonsillitis, the first one is called as acute superficial. The second one is called as acute follicular. The third one is called as acute parenchymal. And the fourth one is your acute membranous. So initially it is just superficial to the mucosa of the tonsil. So the tonsil is red but not enlarged. There is redness of the surrounding oropharyngeal mucosa, buccal mucosa as well. Then the infection goes to the crypt of the tonsil and it blocks the crypt of the tonsil. So when it blocks the crypt of the tonsil, what do we see? We see whitish yellow spots on the surface of the tonsil, which we call it as follicular tonsillitis. Then what happens? The infection goes in, into the parenchyma or substance of the tonsil causing antigen antibody reaction, causing enlargement and redness of the tonsil. And in the final phase, you will see that there is a whitish membrane that collapses together to form a membrane on the surface of the tonsil which we call it as membranous tonsillitis. Now this is coming from the dead bacteria and the dead tonsillar tissue. So this is called as true tonsillar membrane. This true tonsillar membrane on peeling will not bleed because it's coming from the dead tissue not from a viable or a vascular tissue. And what is the color? It is pearly white in color. Now, since it is coming from the tonsillar tissue, do you think will it be limited to the tonsil or will it spread? This membrane is only limited to the tonsil. So, this is limited to the tonsil. So, membranous tonsillitis is limited. It is pearly white in color. On peeling, there will be no bleeding from the underlying surface. So, this is something that you have to know about acute tonsillitis, the four phases. You know what is there in the pathophysiology and you, can, you also know what is the sign that you can expect. Okay, now what is the organism that is responsible for causing this acute tonsillitis? It is usually group A beta hemolytic streptococcus. So what is this organism? It is group A beta hemolytic streptococcus. So this group A beta hemolytic streptococcus has got cross reactive antigens against myocardium, against glomerulus and against joints. So if there is a tonsillar infection and if there is a source of this infection within the tonsil for a prolonged duration of time, can it cause glomerulonephritis, can it cause arthritis and can it cause rheumatic fever and subacute bacterial endocarditis? Yes. Why? Because it has got a cross reactivity. So that is why you should know the organism that it is group A beta hemolytic streptococcus. Now, how do you diagnose an acute tonsillitis patient? So this is a clinical diagnosis where you will be able to understand on the basis of history and on the basis of clinical examination. Usually you do not require any specific investigation for your diagnosis. With the help of history and with the help of clinical examination, you will be able to understand what is uh, if the diagnosis is acute tonsillitis or not. So typically it will be seen in children in the Younger age group, typically between 3, 4 to 9, 10 years of age group, sometimes even until 15 you can see, where they will tell you recurrent episodes of sore throat along with fever and along with pain while swallowing. So typical history, fever, pain and throat pain which is increasing on swallowing and they will also have sore throat. This is a typical history. In children, if you see this, it is more in favor of acute tonsillitis. So you can see here, there are four phases of acute tonsillitis which I just discussed. The first one is superficial where there is only redness of the tonsil but no enlargement. So there is redness and there is no enlargement. Follicular form, you will see that multiple whitish yellow dots are seen on the surface of the tonsil. Parenchymal, you can see that the tonsil is enlarged and red in color. So they are congested and enlarged. And then finally, you will have a pearly white membrane which is limited to the tonsil, which we call it as membranous tonsillitis. So it is pearly white in color. So these are the four forms of acute tonsillitis. Thank you.